Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I have my August book haul to show you guys. So as usual, I got books because uh, even though I started off the year being so good about not buying any books, I acquired a crap ton of books this month. So oops. Anyway, um, so firstly, I would like to share with you this three volume thing of A Thousand and One nights and uh, basically I got this from a friend who was working on culling his bookshelves and he wanted to uh, find a new home for these and I was like ooh like I have not read those um, so I have not you know I'm I'm Persian I have not read this whole thing and I am currently working on writing a retelling of uh, uh, what's it called? Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Um, and there are so many other stories in here that I haven't read because it's a thousand and one stories. Like, it's a lot of stories, you guys. So yeah, I definitely look forward to reading these and it's gonna take me a long time to get through the whole thing, but whatever. So for the rest of this book haul, I do have some books that I bought, both new and used, um, because I did pre-order some books forever ago that I got this month. And then I did buy a few used books, but, but First, I'm going to talk about the one physical book that was sent to me for review, and that is Crown of Crowns by Clara Loveman. This is a um, fantasy book that just came out, and I got the eARC on NetGalley, and they, the publisher contacted me since they had me down as like someone who had gotten the eARC, and they said, oh, do you want us to send a physical copy and you can be part of this blog tour and bloody bloody. So I said, oh, that sounds really awesome. So I would love to do that. So they sent me this, this book and I will have a full review up in September. Next, I do have three used books that I got because I went to the bookstore to pick up my pre-order of one of the uh, books I had pre-ordered and I ended up, you know, wandering into the fantasy section since it had been a while since the bookstore was actually open due to COVID. So um, I was really excited to go and check out the used books. And so I wandered over there and I ended up with three books. So oops. Um, so firstly, I have this Thing called the Catswold Portal and this is about a girl who goes to a fantasy world where there are tons of cats and then there's this like evil sorceress who is enslaving people or something I have no idea and she's trying to keep this girl from like finding out that she's actually the one who's supposed to like rule this cat place I have no idea but anyway it sounds really interesting so I'm really excited to read it. Then I have Mother Ocean, Daughter Sea, and this is about a girl who is a witch and she saves a nobleman, but like the nobleman doesn't like witches or something. I don't know. It just sounds really interesting. So it really caught my eye and I'm excited to read it. And next I got The Tower of Thorns by Juliette Marillier. This is the sequel to Dreamer's Pool, which I read earlier this year and absolutely loved. So I'm really excited to continue the series. I think it's just three books so far. I don't know if it's a, if it's a series that is going to have more books than that or not or if it's just a trilogy but anyway this is the second of three books and I'm really excited to read it. So before I get to the new books that I got, um, I do have a couple of other things. So with one of my pre-orders this month, I did get this arc of Tarnished Are the Stars by Rosie Thor. This uh, was just given to me along with my pre-order by the bookstore because they're cool like that. Um, so this is a book that I was actually, um, it was on my radar, but I just hadn't really thought about it. Um, but it definitely was one that sounds interesting to me and it's a sci-fi about uh, I think asexual main characters so I'm really excited to read this. So then the next book I have here to show you guys is one that I actually got at the dollar store. So it's been a while since I last had like a good dollar store find because typically the books there are kind of just meh but um, every once in a blue moon I'll go into the book section in the dollar store and there will actually be books that I've wanted to read. So I got Girls in the Moon by Janet McNally. This is a book that I actually had really wanted to read a couple years ago and then completely forgot about. So I'm really, really glad that I found it and that now I have a copy. So I have no excuse. I've got to read it now. So now we're getting on to the uh, books that I had pre-ordered that I now got this month. So Darius the Great Deserves Better by Adib Horam is a book that I already read 
did because Penguin Teen, who is super cool like that, sent me the e-arc to read. So I already read it, obviously, because this was one of my most anticipated releases of the year. And this is the sequel to Darius the Great is Not Okay, which is also an incredible book. So um, both of these books are really, really good. They deal with um, a lot of hard topics, but also in kind of a lighthearted way that is really interesting. And of course, the main character is a nerdy gay Iranian boy who is just so funny and obsessed with tea and like is the kind of kid who like had never fit in and barely had ever had any friends in the first book and now we follow him uh having already come out as gay and he already he is like on a soccer team he has friends he has a boyfriend he's like dealing with like what like all kinds of weird stuff like um if his relationship is you know is uh, the way it's supposed to be going or not. Like, he doesn't really know how to navigate a relationship because it's his first one. And then, like, he gets his dream job, basically, and kind of just, like, doesn't want... Um, like, it, it's not really what it was cracked up to be and um, all of that that a lot of people have to deal with. Um, and so it's a really, really good book, and I absolutely love the crap out of it, and you guys should seriously all read it if you like contemporary books even a little bit. Another book that I pre-ordered that I got this month is Don't Ask Me Where I'm From by Jennifer DeLeon. This book is kind of centered around the um, idea that, you know, people of color don't like to be asked where are you from because people usually mean that as like an othering comment. And I grew up like not really understanding why my mom hated being asked like why, where she was from um, because I'm really white passing and I always wanted to be asked where I was from so that I could, I, I would have a chance to talk about my culture and all of that. Um, but my mom like hated it. Even if people actually were asking like nicely and they, cause they actually wanted to know um, just out of genuine curiosity, it still like sucks when you're a person of color. And so hearing the author of this book talk at Virtual Y'all West about this um, really made me think about that because until then I hadn't really ever understood why my mom hated um, being asked where she was from. And finally, Star Daughter by Shvita Thakrar. This is about a girl who is a star, or she's half a star. She has a parent who is a star and a parent who is human or something like that. She's like half star, half human. I'm not exactly sure what this book is about, but this is another one that, um, along with A Song of Wraiths and Ruin, I pre-ordered this in response to Y'all West being cancelled because I kind of figured that being refunded for my flight out there and I, like I wanted to support a couple of the books that might have been getting promo there so this was one of the two that I thought seemed like a good one to go ahead and pre-order so I did that and I'm really excited to read this. So you might say that I got a lot of books this month. This is kind of insane, um, especially since lately I'm only reading ebooks mostly due to COVID. So it's a little bit weird that I just acquired this many books uh, because I like books. What can I say? It happens. So anyway, uh, let me know if you've read any of these, have any thoughts on them, which ones I should read first. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!